Astronomers have taken a crucial step in showing that massive black holes in the universe can create their own meals. And here I thought that these black holes were simply sitting there, you know, waiting for anything to come to their proximity to eat. But no, 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 they can cook. Data from NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory and the Very Large Telescope provide new evidence that outbursts from black holes can help cool down gas to feed themselves. The results support a model where outbursts from the black holes trigger hot gas to cool and form narrow filaments of warm gas. The outburst causes more gas to cool and feed the black holes, leading to further outbursts. This model predicts there will be a relationship between the brightness of filaments of hot and warm gas in the centers of the galaxy clusters. More specifically, in regions where the hot gas is brighter, the warm gas should also be brighter. The team of astronomers has, for the first time, discovered such a relationship, giving a critical support for the model. But I thought that brightness was a side effect of heat anyways. Why would brightness and heat relationship be a discovery? The newly found relationship for these filaments shows remarkable similarity to the one found in the tails of jellyfish galaxies. I've had gas stripped away from them as they travel through surrounding gas, forming long tails. This similarity reveals an unexpected cosmic connection between the two objects and implies a similar process is occurring in this object. Just like I've, I've always thought about star system or like our solar system, how you have the sun at the center, like the bigger mass object in the center, and you have other smaller objects, the planets orbiting it. And I associated how atoms also have the same type of system where you have a nucleus or like a bigger mass object in the middle at the center, and you have other objects orbiting it. 